Meghan Markle's return to Instagram would be one bad move in a long line of bad moves. The Duchess reported plans to return to the social networking platform could expose her to accusations of hypocrisy and attention-seeking, according to a communications expert. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to have shut down her previous profile ahead of her engagement to Prince Harry in 2018 and plans to return to the social media platform immediately. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Meghan revealed her plans in an interview with the Duchess on the Cut, where she said, I'll be back on Instagram, with the Meghan account set up a few weeks ago. But a leading public relations and reputation management expert has warned that it might not be the best idea for the Duchess. Go up CEO Edward Coram James in an exclusive interview with DailyExpress.co.uk. Meghan explained that given the couple's financial situation, her history with the media and her efforts to build her own brand, Meghan should be careful with the account and it might not be the best move. He explained that much of the criticism of the Sussexes has been directed at claims that they are more interested in the royals working for Sussex. The fact that the British royal family is so blatantly commercializing their status and behaving like American reality TV stars will certainly add to this national discontent, he said. He added, reputationally, relaunching Instagram is another bad step in a long line of bad actions. Unless it's pure charity work, with no personal advocacy or commercial motives, anything she posts will expose her to more accusations of hypocrisy, attention-seeking and abuse of established cultural traditions and her position and title. She will understand? But he said he can understand the family's caregiving needs. He said, but the truth is she probably felt she had no choice. And when you have a young family to feed and most importantly protect, you often put your pride aside and do things that are practical and not always right. Colin James said the government had to play a part in the situation and said it had to pay for Harry and Meghan's safety. He said, from a crisis communications and public relations point of view, if the UK government wants the people of Sussex to keep a low profile, concessions will have to be made. The people of Sussex need to recognize that their actions to date have been largely negative, while causing great damage and embarrassment to the country. They need to keep a low profile and stop fighting fire with fire. On the other hand, the British government also needs to be more mature. They need to accept that being part of the royal family comes with significant security risks and that they have to pay for that security. Otherwise, the people of Sussex would not be surprised if they feel they have to look to other, less popular forms of income. Including Instagram. Although it could be reputational, Edwards explained that it could be a financial decision, if Harry doesn't have world-class security, his and his wife's and children's personal safety will still be at risk. World-class security details are extremely expensive and the British political class have made it clear that this is a cost they are not prepared to pay. So the people of Sussex have been forced to pay for it themselves. Social media expert Eric Schiffer believes such a move would be a big financial win for Meghan, as she could quickly become one of the most followed celebrities on the platform. But he also cautioned that she should think carefully about what products to promote if she makes the radical transition to an influencer career. Schiffer said she has to make sure she doesn't do everything under the sun. She will align herself with quality brands and companies that align with her political and social beliefs, he said.